Hello everyone, Xenonism here. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time, well, Shulk got r revived from Alvis. Well, by Alvis, not from him, but you get what I mean. And we got a new weapon. The Replica Monado. There are more Monados we can get, but we'll see them much later. Actually, before we continue on the story, I want to actually go this way. Well, we won't be able to see yet. What we're going to is pop in. There is a figure there. Unconscious. And do who it is. Tyria. Who's this? Ain't she the one who attacked us in the capital? You! Tyrea! What are you doing here? You're hurt. Do not touch me! Vile girl! Watch it! Oh! Oh! Tyrea, what happened? Is she dead? No. It looks like she just passed out. Let's get her to the infirmary. Rhine! Come on, why me? Please. Her injuries aren't severe. When the Bionis awoke, the ether flow around the colony became unstable. Maybe that's why she lost consciousness. No, that's not what I meant. You mean, why didn't she become a Telethia? Precisely. For pure-blooded High Entia to become Telethia, the ether energy surrounding the Bionis has to be above a certain level. Luckily, the level of ether energy here is not as high as on the upper regions of Bionis. Maybe what kept her safe. Or perhaps. Perhaps what? No. It's nothing. Something about this makes me feel uneasy. I know what you mean. We'll have to keep an eye on her recovery. Why does she hate you so much, Melia? You're both high end here. Is being pure-blooded really that important? Tyrea's birth mother is most likely my stepmother. You don't mean... Eumea? Yes. I heard about it from Callion after I returned from the tomb. Mother was the leader of the Inquisitors, a secretive organization operating in the shadows of the Imperial household. The group plotted to maintain the Imperial bloodline through a clandestine ritual ritual where Tyrea was conceived. And she was secretly raised as an Inquisitor assassin. Hold on a sec. Are you saying that Tyrea is Callian's half-sister? That's right. Then isn't she in the same position as you? Mm-hmm. That is correct. Tyrea! You're awake! <laughs> I had more right to the throne than she ever did. Were it not for the consort system that has so polluted the pride of our people, it would have been me, a pure-blooded High Entia, who would build the future of our people. But you... You are a hypocrite. Just like me. If we are honest, what is the difference? 
You too would take the lives of your own people to protect your bloodline. Melia, you two are nothing but an assassin. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm... I don't buy that for a second. Ryan! Pride of your people? How about you're jealous of Melia? <laughs> Do you really think I would be jealous of her? Amelia? You're envious of her, right? Of how she lives her life. You just want everyone to feel sorry for you, for being in the shadows all your life. How dare you? No home speaks to me like that. I'm saying that you'll never have a life like Melia's. You don't have the faintest idea why Melia's been fighting. Even if you'd been born in her place, the Emperor still would have chosen her as his successor. Succeeding the Imperial line ain't all about blood. It's about taking on the will to do whatever it takes for your land, for your people, when the time comes. That's what makes Melia different from you. How dare you? Both of you, stop this! This is no time for pointless bickering. He's right. We survivors shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right, time's up. I want the room cleared out. Yeah, okay. And you. You need to calm down and get some rest. Ugh. Think of my people. What is that? What's going on? Look! Over there! The colony! Telethia! Guys! She's gone! Tyrea, you mean? Could that Telethia be her? No. At least, I'm fairly certain. What? There's no time now. We must pursue it. So that leads to you burning. Alright. Uh, no... Collectibles, no quest log. That's what we need. Uh, no, 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 no. Calling six. Melancholy Terrier. Alright, it's a map now. Magna. I believe they want us to go down here. It's quite a short thing we're going to be doing. It must be Tyrea after all. What do we do? Do we have to fight her? There's no time to think about it. Ready yourselves! Mysterious Telepia! Hold 
Supernova 7! Area of effect of tap tap. I must. I know. Stop! Tyrea! You're safe! You do realize that Telethia is Eumea. <gasps> Eumea? I was pursuing Eumea. Even though she knew it was her fate to transform, she remained faithful to the Bionis. But why? Didn't she feel betrayed? Everyone has their own beliefs, and what they believe is their own choice. Yamea adhered to her path. I pursued her so that I could fulfill her final wish. Her final wish? Yamea was imprisoned within the Tower of Investigation. She told me that after she transformed into a Telethia, I was to destroy her as quickly as possible. She wished to sacrifice herself to the Bionis. At least, that is what I believed at first. But I now understand Yumea's true desire. That is why I must... This is my responsibility. Melia. Why? Father entrusted me with the Empire and its people. What I believe in is the will of those struggling to survive. I have to fight if I am to convey this to the next generation. Besides, Yumea is your birth mother. There is no need for you to carry out such an unpleasant task. Is the same not true of you? You may not be of her blood, but you still think of her as your... This is a duty that my father and brother conferred upon me. Melia. I believe you and I are alike. Alike? 
Never, vile girl. My gratitude for assisting you, Mayor. I mean, Mother. Tyrea. Well, there she goes. Is she going to be okay on her own? She'll be all right. We and Tyrea share the same goal. Our paths are sure to meet again. Yeah, you're right. Melia, what did you mean just now? When you said you and Tyrea are alike? Tyrea must be half Homs, just like me. What? But the wings on her head! Not all half-blooded Hyentia have small wings, only the majority. Some are indistinguishable from pure-blooded Hyentia. Dominant and recessive inheritance. I've studied this. So that's why. Melia, do you think you may knew this would happen? Perhaps. Actually, she had to have known. At least, that's what I believe. She was her mother after all. She must have been aware. Yes. Empress Staff, which is partly why we did this Arvan, this actually being a voice actor scene that is important for Future Connected. Oh, I'm beatable for four. Let's do, let's just go check gem crafting. Yeah, no, we're definitely making some. We do this. Wow, this is absolutely. You could have gotten me to Ryan. Spike defense. I'm surprised how little ether up ether ups. I actually have. I am all I've over got it. That. We do need a few ether ups though. Hey, this Perfect. This ain't bad at all. Cause we'll need that for a fight later. Uh, let's get some strength up though. I am all I've over got that. It. Alright, good job! Eh, it's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Okay. Alright, we do need to check. Uh, but for Melia... Ether up five. Just give you some muscle up, Ryan. Don't. All right, I need to check with you, Shulk. Yeah, no, definitely need to do that. And I'll start maxing out armor because we won't be fighting much to them here. Uh, fit your chart, message check. Okay, I'll keep you on for a while, Shulk. So, we will head into the Bionis. Down to find out. Let's 
go, Miko. Mm. That is bright. It's the inside of the Bionis. It looks quite different from when we entered via the marsh. The Bionis is regaining its biological functions. Must be because Zanza woke it up. Then we find Zanza and stop him. I need to be even stronger. Interior landing zone. Before that, Venea. There are replica prototypes, and we want them. Replica Minato 1. I don't remember which one this one is. Replica Minato 2. This one's annoying to get, but it's not bad. Replica Minato 3. I think this is the one that is not great. <laughs> Replica Minato 4. I remember the I remember this one. The Monarch Airflame. Really annoying to get. Because there's only three dragons in this entire game and they have a low chance of dropping them. Except for one of the three. But no, you're not getting it from him. You're not. Uh, this one, which I don't, don't remember. I will show them, but that's another time. But you know what you have to get. And this game makes it even easier than the original. And the 3DS version. New 3DS version. God. I know it doesn't do anything, but hey. Wait, wait. Oh, good. Careful, let's just check. Oh, nope. Oh, we got the worst ones. Huh. There are over lungs. That's not the point. Well, 
believe once we reach that checkpoint, we get a cutscene. The Bionis interior. That is a disgusting part. <laughs> you look well, your highness. That voice. It's Lorathea. Show yourself. Look at that. The heart of the Bionis. The pulsating life of Lord Zanza. Quit your yapping and show yourself. I await your highness here. There is something I wish to show you. Your friends are welcome to join you. That is, if they survive. <laughs> Lorithea, what are you planning? Forget her for now. We must push on to the heart. All right. And we know our goal, the heart of the Bionis. Raging stalwart? What? I thought that achievement was for something else, not landmark finding. We can't lose. I'm gonna go all out. Don't really use these guys not only as a good landmark, but also as a good quick training. Okay, we're gonna be needing it. Stronger. Let's press off. Plus, we can upgrade Monado armor. Also, Victorious Gross. Like Wanna be careful of this guy. Because this, this guy can just this get you just. Time for a train attack. Ready when you are. Here we go. Hasty thing. Fiora, keep it coming. Everyone, let's go! 
Apologies. But, with this, I actually have good news. Funnily enough. <laughs> Didn't, was intentional, but, uh, my new controller came in, so. There won't be any, well, there shouldn't be any issues from now on. Button that's just always a half press. Anti anti body. Love that attack name. Right, let's keep going. I believe we need to go this way. Before you ask, uh yeah, no one really likes this place. So uh don't, don't be surprised. If I get confused on where to go, uh, does it? Oh, yeah, it does. Like that means we will have to fight this guy. I'm not too partial to these. Guys, is this such a good idea? Electric attack. You'll be gone before you know what hit you. Steady oh, thing. Pesty oh, thing. Okay. 
Oh no, it's not. It's not the thing I think thought it was. I do like the item description of the. Actually, I'm gonna bring up just to show the exact description. The tenth of ten finest blades, boast fine protective capability. Tenth. This way is the way we need to go. Both be careful. We have two Celias. Three Celias! Uh, pass. Oh, this ice, we definitely need to. We can't get rid of them without we'll fighting them. crystals and we actually can't however we can cheat this isn't going well get a hold of yourself to the end. Terminal Nerve Tower. I believe we only have one more landmark in this area before we reach the heart. I don't believe there's any... Oh no! There's ghostly Mahatos. We're not fighting him. If we have to fight anything Fight the cellular. Cellular. But I don't want to fight the cellular. I believe we've got enough. And the last there's cellular on the hearts. Uh, what would you call these? Veins? Because those are definitely red blood cells. Alright. So we're going to be switching up the party slightly. We want this configuration. But uh, we want to... Okay, yeah, no. We want to max out as much of armor. The heart entrance. Prepare to meet the worst boss in this entire game. And arguably, the worst in this 
franchise. Welcome to my world. I must say, I am surprised. Zanza's vessel truly does have a will of its own, and looking quite sprightly. I'm still alive. I won't die. Not yet. And that's why we're here. Everyone who lives in this world has a life. So, it shouldn't be threatened by anyone. We'll never give in to Zanza. Mmm, so full of passion. Well, if it's life you're looking for, I'll show you true life. It's... G Gallion! Brother! There is no use in calling. It worked before, but now his transformation is complete. He is my adorable son. Do you know the meaning of the word telepia? It means that which eliminates impure life. Impure life, just like you. That which Lord Zanza does not require shall be extinguished from this world. Meet Disciple Orophia, the infamous boss from this game. Oh boy! Or are starting off with a you pay for your insolence? That's starting off quite strong. Good news is. Unlike most Telepia, she cannot use a... Uh... I forgot what it's called! Oh, also, expect to hear you'll pay for your insolence for a lot of the fight. Yeah. Remember when I said there was one fight I was not ashamed to use the This is for defying Lord Sansa. Oh god. Dang it. Oh nice! Oh come on. Uh, problem is all confused. Uh, yeah, you may have already figured out why I want to do some casual. This fight is miserable. Mainly because. Ah, I'll have to just. No, don't give up. The big problem is that this fight has just got everything against you. Because they expect you to take out the nebulae, but taking out the nebulae is literally the worst thing to do. Is this such a good idea? Can we actually enjoy this battle? For it will be your last. I'll show you. You have got to be kidding me. 
You'll pay for your insolence. You'll pay for your insolence. Shulk! Part of me wants to switch, to switch back to show. Very ridiculous doing this, but hey. to actually... I can't do anything until... This is gonna be a risky play. Because Shulk decided You'll pay for your it would be great. You'll pay for your in this is for defying Lord Sans. You'll pay okay. for your It'll all be over soon. Oh my god. I don't need you worrying about those guys, Shulk. You'll pay for your influence. Light heal. My turn. One, two, three. My turn. You'll pay for your insolence. Leave it to me. This will leave a mark. Shake your edge. Okay. My turn. You'll pay for your insolence. Perfect. A lot of damage. Longevity. You'll pay for your insolence. You'll pay for your insolence. No! I... I cannot die! This 
Finish her off. No. <laughs> or just. <gasps> but. Brother? Is that really you? Oh, I have longed to see you. I too, Melia. Brother, I must apologize to you and to everyone. Because of our transformation into Telethia. I am a princess, but I brought misfortune upon the high end here. I... I... You are mistaken, Melia. The Telethia gene lies dormant within us all. There was no escaping the cursed blood in our veins, sister. It was fate. That is why our father sought to dilute the bloodline. <laughs> you are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Knowing this, both I and father were happy to sacrifice ourselves. It was our choice. Brother... There is no need to fear. After all, this is precisely our wish. In the end, you are the only ones who can stop Zanza. Yes. Now, leave her to me. You must go. You must accompany Shulk. Nothing. This is your destiny. Accept it with dignity. Ah, my body. No! I was promised immortality. Ah! Brother. Melia. At long last, I can be with Father. You must now live your own life. The path you forge, the future you choose. That is the hope of the High Entia. Thank you, brother. Your words will stay with me forever. His words? Oh, Ricky heard. Ricky heard Melly's brother. Oh, Callian say, hope of bird people. Hmm, where Melly's brother? Oh, Ricky not see him, but Ricky hear him. Ricky. You too heard his parting words. Thank you. Melia. Thank you for your concern. I am all right. Let us go and secure the future my brother so hoped for. We will, together. Ha 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 ha!
such a brave princess. <gasps> Dixon! Don't look at me like that. I take time out of my schedule to send you off to a nice spot. And that's how you welcome me. What do you mean? I'll be waiting at Prison Island. I've picked out a lovely place to return your flesh and blood to the Bionis. Don't keep me waiting. See ya later. <laughs> I'm gonna come on, everyone. We've got to get to Prison Island. Okay. Undying devotion. But, we'll continue next time. Oh, we're almost maxed? I'm excited. Oh, really? Oh, they suck. <laughs> oh, well. But next time we head to Prison Island for the final time. Zinozuma, signing out.